ఎం సంగీత అలయ్ శివ అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఆఫ్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ కంప్యూటర్ సైన్స్ ఎస్ఆర్ విబి వనయ పరిమాల్ కాలేజ్ ఫర్ విమన్ విరుదినగర్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వి ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సి అబౌట్ కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ అండ్ డిస్ట్రక్టర్స్ ఇన్ సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ నౌ లెట్ స్టార్ట్ విత్ వట్ ఇస్ కన్స్ట్రక్టర్ A constructor is not is a special member function whose task is to initialize a object of the class. It is special because its name must be as same as the name of the class name. So it will be automatically invoked whenever an object of the of its associated class is created. Now let's see some key features about constructor. As I already said, its name must be as name as the class name and it don't have any return type. this is the major difference between the other member functions and the constructor it should not contain any return type with it and it must be declared within a public section and it cannot be a virtual function uh, if say, if suppose we didn't uh, declare any constructor in our program means the c++ compiler will automatically create a default compiler sorry default constructor and insert it into our code now let's see what are the types of constructors the first one is the default constructor and then parameterized constructor and copy constructor now let's see one by one now let's see what is default constructor default constructor is nothing but a constructor with no parameters with it uh, if suppose we didn't uh, declare any define any constructor in our program means the compiler will automatically invoke this default constructor then the parameterized constructor it's a constructor with parameters which is used to initialize the uh, instances of the object with the specified values and then the copy constructor it is a constructor which creates an object by initiate initializing it with the object of the same class which has been already created now let's see a simple example for constructor here we declare define three types of constructors here first one is the default constructor uh if it will be in automatically invoked when we create this obj1 object because it contains no parameter with them with it so if during this creation the default constructor will be automatically invoked and initialize the x and y values as zero and then during the this obj2 object creation uh it contains two parameters with it uh, 10 and 20 so now the parameterized constructor will in will be invoked and initialize the value of x as 10 and y as 20 um and then this is a copy constructor as i earlier said the, it contains object as its parameter so during this creation of uh, obj3 it passes obj2 as a argument to a constructor here the value of x in uh, sorry the value of x will be initialized with the value of the x of the previous object which is the obj2 so now the value of x will be 10 and the value of y will be 2 which is initialized by, uh, by using this copy constructor now let's see what is destructors it's a special number function that is automatically called by the compiler uh, whenever an object goes out of the scope or is explicitly deleted um, its primary purpose is to release resources that the object may need, may have required during its lifetime so now let's see some key features about the destructor this uh, destructor's name must be as same as the class name but uh, it should contain a tiled symbol as its preceding uh, it must not have any uh, parameters with them and it should not have any return type with it and there will be only one destructor per class and it will be automatically invoked by the compiler we do not uh, we no need to invoke them explicitly this is a example for destructor here we define a default constructor and a destructor method um, if during this obj1 object creation it contains no parameters so it invoke this default constructor and there it initializes the value of x and y with zero and just print a statement as constructor only and then this of uh, here in main function there has uh, no more statements to execute hence uh, obj1 will loses its scope now the uh, compiler will automatically invoke this destructor method here in this destructor method uh, we just print a statement as destructor so when the output this is the output for this program just it just print a 
uh, statement constructor during the execution of the default constructor and it will automatically the compiler will invoke the destructor method and uh, it just print the destructor statement. Now let's summarize the session. Constructor. Constructor is used to initialize the class objects. There will be a it, it may be a default constructor or a parameterized constructor or a copy constructor and then the destructors. Destructors are used to clean up before an object is destroyed. Uh, the main purpose of the destructor is to deallocate or clean up the memory space. Thank you.